Hey yo, what it do? It's your boy J Lou, and you guys are just in time for a do rag review. All right, now with that being said, I know a lot of people have been waiting for this bad boy ever since I first shot my The Truth About Silky Do Rag, which I'll link right above here. One of the top comments, and especially a lot of the comments that kept coming in, where people were like, Hey yo, J Lou, what are your thoughts about the Red by Kids do rag? You know what I'm saying? All right, so the first thing I want to point out is whenever I did the Truth About Silky Do Rags video, I went out and bought a whole bunch of different do rags to be able to do the reviews on. And one of the first reviews that I wanted to do was the Red by Kids do rag because it was one of the most available do rags you could find. They were being sold in beauty supply stores and everything like that. And I was like, that'll be a good idea to do. Now, a lot of people were complaining about the Red by Kids do rags, talking about the strength too short what the company did was they went back and they upgraded their do-rags and they came out with a better upgraded version of you know what i'm saying sometime at the end of april the company reached out to me and they was like hey yo j lou we like your channel we like what you're doing we also want you to do a review on our do-rag so with that being said i do want to say that this is a sponsored video one of the main reasons why i wanted to go forth and do this review is because i appreciate companies that can take criticism or feedback and then they improve on their product so with that being said let me show y'all the comparison in regards to the difference on the OG Red by Kids do rag, you can clearly see that the stitching is very loose, it's, it's pretty wide, and everything like that, you know. And just as a reference, this is the dream do rags that are being sold right now. So, when you look at the stitching, the stitching is kind of similar. As you can see, the deluxe dream do rags they have a way wider and looser stitching on their, on their seams, and that makes the stitching easily ripped. But keeping it in mind, this is the OG and they upgraded. And when you look at the stitching on the new ones compared to the OGs, as you can see, they definitely tightened up on their stitching. So I gotta give a big salute to Red by Kiss just for doing something like that because it's the little details that people appreciate, especially waivers, you know what I'm saying? Now, the next thing I wanna point out is the body style. How much material do you get with the OGs versus the new ones? In order to do that, I'm basically gonna take where the stitching begins at the top of the do-rags. And as you can see, side by side, you get way more material on the new Red by Kids do-rags. As you can see, the back stretches out farther, even on the inseam portion of the do-rag right here. It stopped right here on the OGs, but as you can see on the new upgraded ones, there is more coverage, so that means there's more material on your head. And for people with big heads like myself, I definitely appreciate that. Now, when it comes to the length of the do-rag strings, I'ma just start at the seam at the top and then just fold it all the way down. And as you guys will see, as I'm pulling this all the way down and keeping it straight, all the way through the closer and closer I get towards the bottom you can clearly see that the OG Red by Kids do-rags they have about two or three inches on the do-rag strings themselves you know what I'm saying now they did give me different colors and what I want to point out is that some of them range from an extra one inch to an extra three inches on the tails all right so when you guys take a look at the front of the box with the new do-rags some of the things that it says is it has premium quality the one thing I respect about Red by Kiss is the fact that they try to accurately describe their product. You know what I'm saying? They clearly tell you that it's a silky smooth satin do-rag. And as I told you guys before, satin can be a blend of polyester as well as silk. Now companies, they don't have to tell you the blend of their do-rags. So some companies may have more polyester, some, some of them may have more silk or whatever the case is, but I respect that they tell you it's straight up satin because other do-rag companies, they won't even tell you what the material is. You know what I'm saying? Now, another thing I'm, I'm pointing out is, like I told you, make sure you look for the upgraded extra long tail sticker. If you don't see that, then you won't get the new do-rags that they're supplying you guys. Now, they say that they are perfect for style and comfort, and I've been wearing these bad boys for a while, and like I told you guys before, because these do-rags are satin, they definitely match up with their perfect for style and comfort. Now, one thing that I want to point out that it says on the back is that it says that these bad boys are wrinkle-free. Now, when I first pulled them out the box, they may have had some creases, but once you get them all straightened out and everything like that, you don't need to iron these bad boys. Matter of fact, you don't want to iron it because they are satin. I respect the fact that these bad boys are wrinkle-free off of that fact alone. They also say one size fits all, and I believe that because with the new style, they give you more material, you know what I'm saying? So if it's too big for your head, you can easily fold the straps up like I showed you guys. All right, now when it comes to comparing it against the navy blue one, the OG, as you can see, the brown is in the front.
as you can see with these strings these strings are about an inch inch and a half longer than the og strings so therefore with the navy blue one you'll definitely get more use out of the strings in this bad boy all right now this next one this purple one this is the one that basically went viral and, ba and made the company very known within the wave game you know what i'm saying so let me compare it to the og for you guys so as i can see it's way more material still within the purple one the new ones and everything and then when i compare the strings Now with the purple ones, they're not as long as I expect. This is about an inch longer, you know what I'm saying? But the inch definitely goes a long way. All right, now stacked up to the OG, the white one to me is the biggest one, you know? I'm gonna just go down and show y'all how long they are with the OG compared to the white one. And as you can see at the bottom, the white one has the longest reach in regards to the, the tails you know what i'm saying so if you really want to get the longest strings possible i would highly suggest getting the white one because this is about three inches you know what i'm saying but with that being said let's get to the rest of the review all right now when it comes to comparing the og boxes versus the new ones as you guys can see with the og boxes they don't have the sticker that's like basically right here on the new boxes they will clearly say upgraded extra long tails that's what you need to look for whenever you're going out and buying the new rare by kids durags is the sticker right here if it does not have that sticker then they don't have the upgraded long tails that a lot of people were tripping on now your boy j lou i got a huge head man i wear a seven and five ace fitted hat you know what i'm saying so if your head somewhere around that range you can definitely rock these do-rags one of the pluses is that the red by kids do-rags they've always had wide strings and especially if you look at the og one this bad boy is wide as well you know what i'm saying but it looks like with the new ones not only are the tails longer but they're also wider the straps are extra wide so if you like tying your do-rags you definitely don't have to worry about getting a line on your head you know what i'm saying that's something that i noticed that they improved upon so what i want to do is show y'all a comparison and basically show y'all what the do-rag looks like tied up after i tied it up i still have enough slack on the back of my head it's not like it's a lot but at the end of the day back with the og ones i couldn't even tie them around my head because my head was just too big all right now with that being said the next thing i want to do is as y'all can see the way i normally rock my do-rags is I typically wear a stocking cap on top of it and the main reason why is because with do-rags for me just in general they don't really compress my crown area you know what i'm saying when it comes to do-rags and getting waves do-rags benefit waivers not because of the compression that they offer they benefit waivers by simply adding a silky material between your hair as well as your pillow you know what i'm saying so when you're sleeping at night the friction and everything like that does not disturb your pattern that means you don't want to tie your do-rags very very tight and i'm gonna show you guys even though i don't tie my do-rags i'm gonna show you how I would tie one of the red by kids do-rags on my head right now. Now, if I do tie my do-rag, I would normally pull the do-rag down to like somewhere between my eye level right here. The main reason why is because what I normally try to do is I fold the do-rag somewhat because if you pull it like this, as you can see, it will definitely dig into your size and everything like that. But when you take your do-rag off, you want to get that peel off effect, you know what I'm saying? So if you fold your do-rag up just like this, just a little bit and then you fold it it doesn't dig into your sides as much now when it comes to tying it most waivers we already know we like to tie do-rags at least twice so you go around the first time you go around the second time but when it comes to tying the back now for me a lot of people tend to tie their do-rags like this they have their head down like that i don't recommend doing that what i recommend doing is you basically lift your head up and then pull the do-rag strings together like that pull it slightly tight not too tight and then just loop it through. Now, the main reason why I don't tie it down like that is because if you tie your do-rag tight when your head is like this, once you lift your head up, you're gonna feel that tension on the back of your neck and that's what's gonna lead to a headache, you know what I'm saying? But with these do-rags, because they've upgraded the tails and everything like that, now you can tie them and the last thing that you wanna do is unfold the strap so that they are flat and they don't dig into your skin. the best way that I tie my do-rag so I can avoid having the lines as well as the migraines when you wake up in the morning. Now when it comes to waves and everything like that, the main reason why I don't recommend just wearing do-rags alone is because as you can see with do-rags, they don't compress this area of your head and it bunches up, you know what I'm saying? Now me personally, once you put a stocking cap on, you can definitely stretch this out and the stocking cap will keep it in place to where it's stretched out like that, you know what I'm saying? But that's your personal choice. Red by Kiss is actually taking waivers advice. They're trying to step their game up and provide a better do-rag for waivers. Now with the colors that I showed you guys, they actually have way more colors 
because then they, you know what I'm saying? They didn't send me all of their colors. I think they only sent me about four of them. But with that being said, they got all kinds of colors. And they got black, red, pink, purple, blue, navy, or whatever you want to call it. The colors, Duke. The colors. Now, if you are looking for these do-rags, you may be wondering, are these do-rags available? The lunch date for these do-rags was May 2018. So if you go to your local beauty supply store, you should be able to find them. Now, I'm not going to tell you exactly where they are, but I believe Red by Kids, they have a website to where you can locate the stores all around the world. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure I'll put the link to their website right here. Now, one thing that they told me was that the suggested retail price was about $2.50. But depending on where you live, some people may sell them more. I know for a fact, if you live in New York, man, they up charging do-rags. You know what I'm saying? They probably going to sell these bad boys to you for $5. Now, when it comes to my overall opinion of these do-rags, even though this is a sponsored video, one thing I want to say is because of the fact that they are priced at a reasonable price as well as you can go in your stores and find them and at the same time they have the most accurate labels and it comes with that satin material on a scale from 1 to 10 I want to rank these bad boys a 9 out of 10 the only thing that can make this bad boy a 10 is if the material was a little bit stronger because like I said on my truth about Suki do-rags with certain satin do-rags when you pull them apart they easily rip and stretch you know what I'm saying and that's one of the things that if read by kiss if they could fix that man these do-rags would be a 10 out of 10 but with that being and said overall these are great do-rags especially for how much they cost i want to give a big salute and a big thanks to red by kiss to allow me to be able to review these do-rags now if you also want to follow the company i will definitely make sure i put their links in the description below to their facebook to their ig as well as to their youtube channel so with that being said it's your boy jay lou if you have any comments make sure you leave them down in the comment section below make sure you like this video if you liked it and at the end of the day salute